Now coming to the fourth bit, which is four u square plus eight u. So let us write down the polynomial p of u is equal to four u square plus eight u. In order to find the zeros of the polynomial, let us equate the given polynomial to zero. That is, four u square plus eight u is equal to zero. So we can take four u as a common. Four u times of u plus two is equal to zero. From this, we can say that u is equal to zero, and u plus two is equal to zero. So this is equal to u is zero and u is equal to minus two. Therefore, the zeros of the given polynomial are zero and minus two. Now, the sum of the zeros is equal to zero plus of minus two. Which is minus two. This is written as minus minus of eight divided by four, which is nothing but minus of eight is nothing but the coefficient of u, and four is nothing but The coefficient of u square. So we can conclude that the sum of zeros is related to the coefficients as minus of coefficient of u divided by coefficient of u square. Now the product of zeros is equal to zero multiplied by minus two, which is nothing but zero. This is equal to zero divided by four, which is nothing but since we don't have the constant term, we can say the constant term is zero. So the zero is the constant term. Nothing but constant term divided by the coefficient of u square. Therefore, the products of zeros is related to the coefficients as constant term divided by coefficient of u square. Now, coming to the fifth bit, which is t square minus fifteen. So the polynomial can be written as p of t is equal to t square minus fifteen. So, in order to find the zeros of the polynomial, let us equate the given polynomial p of t is equal to zero. So, this can be written as t square minus fifteen is equal to zero. Therefore, we can say that t square minus of root fifteen whole square is equal to zero. This is in the form of a square minus b square. Which is equal to a plus b times of a minus b. So this can be written as t plus root fifteen times of t minus root fifteen, which is equal to t plus fifteen is zero and t minus root fifteen is zero. So we can say that t is equal to minus root fifteen, and t is equal to plus root fifteen. Therefore, the zeros of the polynomial are plus or minus root fifteen. Now, the sum of zeros is equal to plus root fifteen minus root fifteen, which is nothing but Zero. So we can say that zero minus of zero divided by one, which is minus of zero, is nothing but the coefficient of t. 
divided by 1 is nothing but coefficient of t square. So, we can conclude that the sum of zeros is equal to minus of coefficient of t divided by coefficient of t square. Now, the product of the zeros is equal to plus root 15 multiplied by minus root 15 which is equal to minus 15. This can be written as minus 15 divided by 1. If we observe minus 15 is a constant term and 1 is the coefficient of t square. So we can say that the product of the zeros is equal to constant term divided by coefficient of t square. Now coming to the sixth bit which is 3x square minus x minus 4. Let us write polynomial p of x is equal to 3x square minus x minus 4. In order to find the zeros of the polynomial, let us equate the given polynomial to 0. That is 3 of x square minus x minus 4 is equal to 0. So let us factorize the given polynomial. By splitting method, we can write 3x square minus x minus 4 as 3x square minus 4x plus 3x minus 4 is equal to 0. Now taking x as common, we will be getting x times of 3x minus 4 and 1 as common will be getting 1 times of 3x minus 4 is equal to 0 which is x plus 1 times of 3x minus 4 is equal to 0. This becomes x plus 1 is equal to 0 and 3x minus 4 is equal to 0. This is x is equal to minus 1 and x is equal to 4 by 3. Now, the sum of the zeros is equal to minus 1 plus 4 by 3. So, this is can be written as the LCM is 3 and minus 3 plus 4 which is 1 by 3. So, 1 by 3 can be written as minus of minus 1 divided by 3. If we observe minus 1 is the coefficient of x. So, minus of coefficient of x divided by 3 is nothing but the coefficient of x square. So, the sum of the zeros is equal to minus of coefficient of x divided by coefficient of x square. Now, the product of the zeros is equal to minus 1 multiplied by 4 by 3 which is minus 4 by 3. If we observe minus 4 is the constant term. So in place of minus 4 we can write constant and 3 is nothing but the coefficient of x square. So the product of the zeros is equal to constant term divided by coefficient of x square.